All right, so here is the mostly finished project. We don't have the pipes put in place yet. Um, that's going to be something that's super simple. No need to really show that one off. As you can see, I put a blue background on the back. I was going to do black, but I realized that maybe the algae issue may become a problem and might detract. Um, some new things I did. I did not do the three-tier shelf, so I put in a, uh, I believe it's a window uh, floor cover. Um, I pulled it out of the uh, window screen aisles where it's from. So if you guys want to do some easy shelving, that was really cheap. It was like three bucks. And it's actually got the rest of it sitting right here. And it's just a general plastic. It's siliconed right in place quite easily. Um, set some rocks up to prop it up. Now the important part here is this project right here. All of this stainless steel. Uh, honestly, it was a nightmare to work with. I have new ways I would prefer to do it next time. Um, I'm going to silicone bead the stainless steel edges out of the tank and then just set it in. Um, basically, it kind of turned into an ugly project because I started back here, started siliconing it in, and then the metal was kind of pulling away from the, the glass because I kind of bent it a little bit direction. because so I figured the silicone was going to pull it in place and clearly that didn't happen. However, I did correct the problem and I did silicone it more properly towards the front as it goes all the way around. It's not too bad. I did have to spend about two hours cleaning up excess silicone. Sorry for the glare. And then, can't see the rest in the back. So, I used a product called uh, Sea View to put this on. It's basically like a little oil and masking taped everything in place to kind of make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, it worked really well. Uh, that's the other thing I was going to add in here is uh, Petco sells it. Uh, you probably buy it online. Uh, one bottle to 75 gallons. Actually, one bottle does 135 gallons. Um, I had plenty to work with. I might have a couple streaks and bubbles because I was kind of uh, moving it around weird. I'm not a window tenter, so I'm not a pro at this. Um, but anyway, this is basically how it's going to be. This is pretty much it. I'm going to put the FX6 here. I'm going to put the Fluval 306 over there. And then basically run it through the UV system. And then it'll go into the pipes that'll hang down there soon enough. And that's the project. This is kind of what it looks like. So uh, key notes is they cut a little extra bigger size than I asked for. I didn't realize they can't measure. But worked out pretty good. One catch is, what I did is I kind of did the Christmas present thing, is I uh, laid it out flat, and then I bent the long edge uh, about a quarter inch high, and then I did the other side, and then I, I measured a quarter inch in, and I snipped in and basically sort of just silicone the corners together and kind of set it in like a basket. This is going to be the problem if you do what I did, and that is put the PVC pipe in there before you actually do the screen. If you do it afterwards, you're capable of basically making an easy hole. And on that note, a Dremel tool with a diamond bit point um, easily cut a hole into the stainless steel mesh. And then from there, I just snipped uh, four little cuts in each corner, and I pushed it down over the top. So, as you can imagine, it's probably going to look pretty amazing. Um, probably going to be about two, two or three inches of sand in the front and then a considerable amount of sand in the back. I'm not sure I'm going to uh, put that much sand, but we'll see. And it'll be pretty much a big old piece of driftwood in here. At the end of the video, I will have a completed project of this tank. At this point forward, now it's um, everything everybody else knows how to do. You know, balance the tank, level the stand. I've got x-ray shims we use on our x-ray rails. For my shims, they're super thin. Um, I've got a slight wobble on the bottom. The top is perfectly flat. I sanded that to the tank. So um, there we are. That's the project. Um, pretty simple. Um, one note, I figured I was going to be in this about $100, $120. I'm actually sitting closer to probably $160, $180. Uh, PVC, glues, um, random components. Um, I had to buy extra silicone. Seed project of the sea view, the background. Uh, the background actually was like almost 20 bucks. It was more expensive than I had planned on it being as well. 
CV is about five bucks. So uh, when you guys go to do a, a large tank like this, uh, plan on probably close to 200 bucks you're gonna be putting into this whole project. You don't necessarily have to drill all this PVC pipe in here if you don't want to. You could probably just have it inject from the outside and it'll basically balance itself out. I had to put the pipe in there anyway, so I drilled anyway. Um, other important note to make is uh, if you don't mind or you have a way to do it, maybe have two, two inlets and then one outlet. That way you can maybe have a little bit more even distribution of the water. Um, so that's what I would probably suggest. I'm trying to conceal it all right there. So my project deviated a little bit, actually quite a bit. No three shelves, um, less pipes, and it went a little over budget than planned. So I hope this helps everybody. I will be doing a, uh, a video showing it working uh, with just water, and then I'm going to put a little bit of sand in there. And then we can kind of watch the sand bubble around and you'll get the idea of what you're kind of looking at. Uh, with that said, have a good day.